Hey there. So many of you are probably familiar with training deep learning models on GPUs, but you may not yet have encountered the Intel HPU. In this video, we'll talk about the Intel HPU versus the GPU, what's different about them, and then also we'll show some initial benchmarks on how we train them on Yellow V5 and what we found for uh, comparable performance between the two different hardware types. So the Intel HPU comes from uh, Intel's uh, new company that they acquired, Hibana Labs. And Hibana has uh, basically made a new uh, GPU type, an HPU, that specifically uh, is designed for doing machine learning operations. So that's not including all the other operations that GPUs are normally uh, made for, like playing video games and rendering videos and mining cryptocurrencies. Um, so the, the HPU has a, a software layer written on it called uh, Synapse AI. And Synapse AI is kind of like what you can think of as like CUDA. Um, and then CUDA on the GPU side, it's the equivalent of CUDA. And um, it is a software layer that lives on top of the HPU cards. And um, so I'll, I'll show you a little bit here about uh, what our initial findings were and in, um, diving in and using these things. So. Um, we fired up a DL1 instance on AWS, uh, and you can do this too. The, the uh, DL1 uh, is uh, uh, anyone can start on AWS. And I'll show you the base image we, we fired it up on. So if you go to launch an instance, and then you go to uh, search through the AMIs, you can search for uh, Havana, and you'll find the deep learning base AMI. So this has a lot of things that are already uh, installed for you. Um, and then for your training script, you actually have to adapt it a little bit. So uh, on Hibana PyTorch, for example, if you're working in PyTorch, you can see some docs and you can see how you need to edit uh, the model that you're training uh, to run on HPU. Um, so uh, there's some simple things like, you know, you, you put it on the, the Torch device and then you wrap the optimizer like this. And of course, there's a lot more um, rich things that you can do with these APIs and you can see all those in the... Uh, in the documentations here. So anyways, uh, we took that and we uh, adapted Yellow V5 to run on the HPU. So here you can see our training script. And uh, in, in there you can see that we adapted things with the Havana APIs. Um, so from this we imported things like uh, the mixed precision training and, and things like that that you can do on, on the HPUs. And on the DL1 you actually get it with, um, you get it with uh, eight, uh, Hibana HPUs. So you can see here we're running training across in a distributed fashion where all these HPUs are accumulating gradients and then they're communicating with each other in each uh, back proposition, uh, back um, in the backprop step of the, uh, the training routine. And uh, so we can monitor that. We can look at what's happening with the, uh, with the utilization here. And we can also look at the HTOP and see, make sure we're using all our CPU cores. And uh, then the comparable setup that we set up, so we're, we're training this on Coco here. Um, and, and here you can see the, the loss descending. And you can also get a sense for the train time here. So about three minutes in epoch. Um, and we looked at a similar epoch comparison here on a, uh, a blade of A100. So this is across eight A100 GPUs, which is sort of like the best thing that NVIDIA has right now for uh, deep learning GPUs. And here, again, we're running the same distributed uh, Yolo V5 training, and uh, you can see we're saturating those cards uh, pretty well for um, you know GPU utilization, and we're training it on Coco here. And here you can see uh, about the time per epoch that we're realizing. So in the beginning here, we can see um, you know we're getting about 25 uh, seconds in epoch. Um, so th this is kind of you know measuring a similar thing to what we were running on the other instance. Now we did uh, a little blog here where we um, basically uh, compared these two training routines. So um, we can see here what the relative costs end up kind of coming out to. And we basically found that on the NVIDIA A100, uh, we're getting about 98 cents per Coco Epoch. And on the, the Gaudi 1 HPU, we're getting about 73 cents per Coco Epoch. So there's actually a little bit of efficiency here already on the uh, Havana Gaudi ones. And uh, this makes sense, you know, because the Synapse AI is uh, uh, specifically designed to be running on, on these cards and specifically for machine learning operations. Um, and so it's definitely something to link it, look into if you're, if you're looking at uh, choosing the most efficient deep learning hardware uh, in, in the game today. 
And another thing I will say is um, the HPUs are coming out with a new Gaudi 2 series, uh, which is now available on the Intel uh, dev cloud. Um, so not on AWS yet. We'll see uh, how those uh, folks figure out how to work with each other. But um, the, the Gaudi 2s um, promise to be quite a bit faster, and so this efficiency will probably increase. So if you're looking uh, at learning how to operate some of the best new deep learning hardware in the game, looking into HPUs could be a really good thing to look at. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned on the channel for more really exciting uh, deep learning content. And we'll see you soon.